signature logo animation in After Effects. This is the project file. Here is the um, pre-composed logo animation. So you can see here, I've gone ahead to split these logos in Photoshop. As I, I split these elements into separate files. As you can see here, the client just supplied the logo as a PNG one file. So I moved into Photoshop and made sure I got this uh, element separately. So now I will show you how exactly I did this from beginning to the end. Hi, my name is SSB and today I'm standing in for otarmedia.net and I'm going to show you how I created this signature logo animation in After Effects CC 2018. So as usual, let's start with a new composition. I'll leave my settings to 1920 to 1080 for the resolution and 30 frames per second is okay. I'll also leave this to 10 seconds and black background is okay. You can change this to match your settings. I am going to import the logo file I splitted in Photoshop. So I will double click the project panel and I will bring in these files. I, I will drag and drop them into the composition. I will hit S to bring up the scale value. I will scale this down to 40. This is okay. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to hide other layers. I will just leave this this name as it is so I will zoom in then pick the pen tool I will change the fill to none then the stroke to color four point is okay then I will start tracing this Do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video if you are new to this channel and want to keep seeing videos like this, please like, share and support and subscribe. Now I have finished tracing the signature logo, so I'm going to fit this to screen so that we can see this properly. Now it is properly fit to the screen, so I'm going to I will go to the effect and preset panel and type in stroke. So I will use this stroke effect to create a write on uh, a writing effect. So click and drag to the layer with the name. So here I will come to the first second and enter a keyframe for the end value so i'll hit you on the keyboard to bring up the keyframe on the timeline as you can see here down here so i'm going to return this end to zero i'll set that to zero i will move forward in time to three seconds and then set the stroke to the end stroke value to 100 100% so on the stroke effect here I will say on original I will turn it to I will select the reveal original image so if you preview this now you will see there is something happening and yet still not as thick as the original right up so what we can do here is to increase the brush size to 6 plus to 6 points all right, this should be okay. Preview now and see. You can see everything is thick. So 
already looking nice select your keyframe right click keyframe assistance easy is those keyframe preview now and see you can see it is a bit smoother now and that is what i am going for next i'm going to reveal other part of the logo so control a to select all the elements on the timeline you to unhide the properties so what i'm going to do now is to reveal the speak i will make this visible move it up i'll move my timeline to three seconds where the whole writing is already done so i will deselect this layer then i'll select the rectangle too i will set, set the fill to color any color will be okay for this and i'll remove the stroke i'll set the stroke to none so i'm going to create a mask around this this is okay I will then move the shape layer right on top of the speak layer so I will set the track mat to to alpha mat shape layer as you can see here it's already revealed so I'm going to animate the position of the speak so with speak layer still selected hit P on your keyboard so now I am going to move a bit forward in time to about four seconds i'll set set a keyframe for the position i'll also move back in time in less than three seconds and set the position of the y i'll set the y position i'll alter it so that to hide there so what i'm going to do now is select both keyframe right click on the keyframe then easy ease those keyframes so if you preview this now this is what we have good you can see we're already getting there it's a simple animation but very classic and modern so now what i'm going to do now i will also now reveal one of the element the red dashes i will unhide it so if you move forward in time here, you will see this stroke. I need to set an opacity animation for this. I'll just move forward in time a bit and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity um, property. So I will set a keyframe here. I'll move back in time to about this point. Yes, somewhere here. For at four seconds, then set the opacity to zero. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to animate the last element of the logo which happens to be the first thing I showed in the intro uh, in the uh, stroke that is signature logo animated intro. I'm going to unhide the last element of the logo which is these three stroke lines here. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the word, I'm going to use this as a guide. So I'll make sure no layer is selected. Then I'll pick my pen to zoom in properly so I can see this very clearly. So what I will do now is to set the feel of the stroke to none and set the stroke to fill. So four points is okay. Let's set this color to a different color so that we can see what we are drawing on top. So I'll click here. What I'm basically doing is to create now hit V on your keyboard to drop the tool. I'm going to hit UU to reveal more option of this property of the stroke. So I'm going to go to down here, set the cap to rounded, rounded cap. If you look at this carefully, you will see that this has a rounded cap. As you can see here, it's blurry, but you can still see how rounded the caps are. 
so that's why I set that to rounded curve so another thing I'm going to do here is to add the trim part to this stroke so I will animate the trim part I will come to somewhere here before one second on the timeline so I will set a keyframe for the start and the end value so I will hit you on the keyword to hide other options so that I will only see the keyframes I'm working with so here at this point I want the start to be 100% and when you move it to the next keyframe is 0% so I'm going to offset this keyframe for the end end value and here I'm going to move reduce this until it fits directly on top of the original image like this uh, it's 17 is okay 17 percent is okay so I'm going to select all keyframes right click on them select keyframe assistant then easy is them you can hit F4 on your keyboard to create this so I will select the first keyframe go to drag editor and slow this down I will also select it down go to drag editor and also slow this down alright this is looking ok so I'm going to duplicate this to create another layer so I'm going to offset the position of this hit P on your keyboard offset the X axis and duplicate again with your D on your keyboard and also offset the X axis for the new one you can see these three stroke have now fit to this um, last element of the logo so the next thing I'm going to do is hit you on the keyboard so that I will reveal all the keyframes first I will now hide this element I don't need it so I will, I will hit you again to hide that I will control shift C to pre-compose control shift C to pre-compose you can call that you can call this whatever you like I'm going to go call this strokes hit enter now what I need to do is to animate how this will come after don't do not worry about this red we're going to fix that at the end of the animation so what I'm going to do now at this point I'm going to set this position to be here I'll hit P on my keyboard to bring out the position for this composition set keyframe then I will come back here from the beginning I will come back at one second time and bring this to about the center so now I will select the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and then easy ease those keyframes to offset the keyframes hit you on your keyboard to bring out the properties the keyframes I mean offset this and also move this a bit backward this should be okay select this this is very close to what you can see on the original it will not be the exact because I didn't do or set all the properties so I'm just trying to show you how exactly I was able to achieve that so the next thing I'm going to do here is to return these strokes to white because it is white on the original so I will type in fill 
on the effect and preset panel and bring the fill effect onto this then this is okay you can see it's already making exactly the way it is from the beginning so i will control h to select all layers then control shift c to pre-compose them make sure you move all attributes into the new composition hit ok so what i'm going to do now right click go to new and then create a new solid leave it for black make comp size and then hit ok you can title this bg for background move the layer below the pre-composed logo animation then move to third second here hit s on your keyboard to bring the scale create a keyframe then go to the seventh second forward in time and then make that 80 on the scale so this is okay select all keyframe right click keyframe assistant and easy is them then let's preview this and see what we already have Okay guys, as you can see, this is how I created the signature logo animation in After Effects CC 2018. Do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video if you are new to this channel and want to show more, you want to keep seeing videos like this, please like, share and support and subscribe. See you again in the next uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching.